So do you know how a bee gets honey? So let me tell you how. So first, when a bee finds a source of pollen and nectar, it comes back to its hive and does a waggle dance to like tell the other bees. And how long it is is how far away the flowers are with it. And how in whatever like direction it's facing is where it is, like which way it is. And then like a swarm comes to go get all the nectar and pollen, they come back, then they vomit it into the other bees' mouths. <laughs> Then they like just put it in the honeycomb, and that's how a bee makes honey. So what you're saying is, when we eat honey, we're eating bee vomit. Technically, gross. At least it tastes good, though. All right, guys, here we are again. I want to show you how we make sugar water to feed our bees. Uh, I think it's important early on to give the bees an uh, internal supply of sugar water or a nearby feeder supply of sugar water because there's not as many bees and uh, they're not able to get as much local nectar. Furthermore, we're trying to encourage them to grow their colony as quickly as possible. So having an abundance of uh, sugar water will encourage that behavior. Um, we want to encourage kind of a false honey flow is... Uh, a term you'll hear kicked around for that. All right, in this case, we take equal parts sugar, equal parts water. So we have two cups of sugar and two cups of hot water. We mix them together until the sugar is fully dissolved. And then I have this uh, pretty cool vitamin additive that I add to the sugar water mixture. As you can see per the uh, instructions, it's a half teaspoon for every quart. Four cups is a quart, so a half teaspoon should do it. That'll keep our bees nice and healthy. Thanks for watching. You can find the recipe to the sugar solution down in the video description. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please hit the like button and subscribe.